Hi, welcome to everyone for the course Wind and Dejet Seismic Analysis in which myself, I am Gansham Gupta, Assistant Professor at TechQ, uh, Department of Civil Engineering, Government Engineering College, Chalabar. In this module, we will study what are the structural systems. So, the outline of the module on structural analysis systems is firstly is introduction and what are the building structural systems another one is type of structures and its form third one is aspect ratio and fourth one is overturning resistance overturning resistance means how the building will uh, how the building will behave when it is subjected to a lateral force and last one is a strength and stiffness so out of these five we have we will have study only two out of them one is introduction and type of structure and structured forms and rest of three are we will cover i will let i will cover in next lecture so first is introduction what are the building structural system the term structural system or structural frame is referred to the load resisting subsystem of a building or object the structural system transfers load through its interconnected elements or members. Interconnected elements means it's connected through a beams and columns and then footings. The structural systems or structural frame can be defined as the assembly of interrelated or interdependent elements which form a complex structure and they are designed and built for resisting different type of loads. The element of a structural system can also be related to the bones of the human body. If uh, I am giving you an example, then we can consider it to like uh, bones in a human body. If the bones are weak and not properly aligned and integrated into a human body, then the human body will not be able to perform well. So like in the same manner, if the structural systems are not proper, then it would not be able to take the uh, loads. Now the next slide is type of structural and structural forms. What are the different type of structures? So number one is uh, load bearing systems. Another one is a uh, framed system third one is shell system and last is strut and type out of these four today we will study only two types that is load bearing systems and frame system shell type of structures will be covered later on in a brief and last one strut and type as you have already studied in your subject uh, steel structure so i will not cover these top so number one load bearing systems what are the load bearing systems so it's a structural system where load of building that is uh, weight of building itself plus the live load get transferred to the ground through the walls or uh, uh, the walls are of masonry walls or uh, stone masonry walls of or uh, brick masonry walls walls bear the load of roof floor and of course sulfate sulfate means it's uh, uh, the load of uh, dead load of uh, Masonry walls. Okay, so the here is a diagrammatic representation of a load bearing systems in which you can easily see the masonry brick masonry walls are subjected to a roof slab and uh, below which it is subjected to a floor slab and here cannot see any type of uh, beams and uh, columns so the load acting on a roof or its uh, sulfate of a roof is directly transferred to the masonry walls and through the, that masonry walls it is directly transferred to the subsoil strata which is a soil okay so in which the load is directly transferred to masonry walls and then masonry wall transfer to the ground surface now second one is framed structure system in a framed structure system are the structures having the combination of beam, columns and wall and slabs to resist the lateral and gravity loads. 
lateral loads means it's a it's a type of a wind load or it's a uh, earthquake load okay these structures are usually used to overcome the large moment developing due to the applied loading so these type of structure generally these type of structures are subjected to a huge amount of movement or huge amount of load that's why they are they they these type of structures are built so what are the components suppose if i'm talking about the components of framed structural system so what are the component of framed structural systems is your framed framed are generally used in buildings okay and the composed of and these type of structures are composed of beam and columns and they are either pinned or fixed connected like a truss structures so here it, it is a these are differentiated into two parts one is a rigid frame structure and another one is a braced frame structures so in rigid frame structure there are two type of structures one is pin ended and another one is a fixed ended in a braced frame structure they these are also of two type one is cable frame and another one is a portal frame so this is a pictorial view of a framed structural system in which you see the slabs beams and columns are interconnected and the load on the load of the slab is directly transferred to the its uh, surrounding beams and then beam transfer load to the uh, then beam transfer load to the surround uh, its interconnected columns then columns transfer this load to the foundation and foundation to the soil strata so this is a uh, load path flow of a framed structural systems okay now i am talking about rigid frame structures are of two type one is pin ended frame and another one is a fixed ended rigid frame so what are the rigid frames rigid frames are the structure in which the deflection even after deflection the angle between the beam and column remains same even after deflection so in this you can easily see the angle between the beam and column is 90 degree and after deflection or deformation this angle would remain the 90 degree after deflection so these type of frames are called rigid frames ha ah, here there are two type one is pin ended rigid frames and another one is a fixed ended rigid frame in which you can see the columns ended are connected to a pin ended and in which here you can see the columns are connected to a fixed okay now braced frame structures braced frame structures are of two type one is portal frame portal braced frame another one is a gable frame so portal braced frame portal braced frame is a in which you can see a inclined member is connected to a portal frame this inclined member is called bracing so that's why it is called a braced frame structure suppose if any structure is subjected to large amount of load so there will be a chances of deflection of uh, that beam and sway of that columns so to prevent this we can provide a bracing in a at a 45 degree angle or any other angle may be used for your convenience but as a design purpose but we can provide if we provide an inclined bracing into that system then it will take more load so it's a portal braced frame system another one is a gable frame system in a gable frame system you can see that is along the length of a structure along the length of a structure these are of a members are called pilings these members are called pilings in, in which diagram you can easily see the pilings these are the pilings and along the width the end corners the end members are called rafters okay or here it it can it uh, here it is easily see the gable columns and gable girt okay so these these are the structure which are of uh, shelter type structure and uh, these structure are 
huge in a, as a cold storage or a very big structure and these are these structures are a single story type structures okay next so what are the difference between load bearing structures and a framed structures so load bearing structures and a frame so if uh, we are talking about in terms of components so these structures have uh, load bearing structures having a uh, heavy machinery walls of brick and either brick either either brick or uh, stone whereas in a framed structure they are having a components of beam column and slab load transfer path how the load is transferred in both type of structure in load gearing structure the load is tied the slab load is directly transferred to the walls and load walls to the load bearing footing that is the soil in a framed structure the load transfer the slab load transfer to the its interconnected beams and then beams transfer the load to the columns and then column transfer to the load to the footing and then it uh, it will transfer to the soil now what is the resistance to earthquake if these two type of structure are subjected to a earthquake then how it will behave so load bearing structure is poor resistance to a earthquake or lateral loading whereas the frame structure are more resistant to the uh, earthquake loading why because load bearing structures are a heavy structures and they are of uh, the load carrying the load carrying members are a machinery walls so they can easily um, destroy or uh, easily destructive in nature whereas whereas the framed structures are maybe of ductile in nature so they can resist more earthquake or more lateral forces and uh, if you are talking in terms of thickness of wall then load bearing structures in which load bearing structure the thickness of wall are more whereas in framed structure the thickness of wall are less corporate area so definitely if um, the walls are thicker then less area will be available and if the walls are thinner then more area will be available in a framed structure and what about the speed of construction so the speed of construction in a load bearing structure is less in compared to the framed structure and material required obviously material required so if the walls are thicker so material will be more and if the walls are thinner the material will be less except of beach there will be a many more differences like uh, height of structures so in the case of load bearing which is which i am not mentioning here because they are not required but i am telling you the height of structure so in load bearing structure the height will be limited in a framed structure the height will be height will be a more as you can see a 40 30 30 40 story buildings 50 story buildings we all the uh, multi story buildings are of framed structure and not to load bearing structures another one is uh, if i am talking about uh, walls constructions uh, so load bearing systems uh, in load bearing the load bearing structures uh, the beams and column are not there hence the wall have to be built first in load bearing system the machinery walls to be built first and in a framed structures uh, the all the beam column and framed structure to be built first then after the walls to be constructed okay now excavation if i am talking about the excavation then load bearing structure in a load bearing structure excavation will be a more because the load bearing walls will be constructed below the ground level ground level and in the frame type of structure excavation is required only for the columns labor requirement to uh, if i am talking in terms of labor requirement load bearing for load bearing structures uh, labor required will be more and in a frame uh, labor required will be less so these are the some differences in a load bearing structures and a frame structures okay now these are these are some references that you can refer for the this lecture and go through this so thank you